Today's the day, Rose. Pay up. 20 bucks right here. No excuses. Rose? Is that you? What do you call this makeover? The lost in suburbia look? <laughs> I'm not who you think I am. You've got me confused with somebody else. <laughs> you know the words. You've got me confused with somebody else. Yeah, nice try, hon. <laughs> I hope that's a wig. Oh, my God. <laughs> Talk about hiding your light under a bushel. You oh, don't understand. Oh, we understand. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stop that funeral dragon and get ready for rehearsal, okay? No, 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 no. I can explain everything. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think so? Well, start talking. Oh, wow. Rose? Who do you think? Don't kid yourself. Who's kidding who? You got some guy running around after you, and you're trying to keep him away from me. But you're not jealous of my looks, right? This is not personal, Rose. It's about the picture. The picture that he showed me that looks exactly like the one that you have. Yeah, yeah, the woman who's a spitting image of me. And me. He showed up in Oakdale, out of the blue. So go on. What's his story? I wish I knew. All I know is that he is from Australia and his name is Simon Fraser. Simon Fraser. Simon Fraser. No, it's not ringing any bells. I'm not that familiar with too many guys from down under. So what is the story with you two? I don't know what you mean. You know, what does the mystery man want out of you? This is what I'm trying to figure out. Whatever it is, it has something to do with that photograph. He's the one that showed it to me in the first place. Let me review the bidding. This guy tracks you down in nowhere, Illinois, from kangaroo country, which is a heck of a schlep, all the way to Atlantic City, and he won't tell you why, and he won't leave you alone. He's like this awful shadow. He's everywhere. Every time I turn around, he's over my shoulder. I couldn't get rid of him until this morning. Uh-huh. So you... You distracted him all night? <laughs> it's not what you think. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody like you, it, it probably never is what you think. You gotta get out more. You gotta live a little bit. Listen to me. Simon will wake up any minute, and when he realizes that I am gone, he will scour this place from top to bottom until he finds me. If he finds another woman who looks exactly like the woman in the picture, there's no telling what he might do. What he might do, what he might want. He's after something, but what? You don't know much of anything, do you? No. Do you have any ideas? I got the solution. Ask him. I've already tried that. Every way that I know how. Simon will not tell me a thing. No offense. But maybe your technique is a little rusty. Well, maybe you'll get a shot at him yourself. And you can show me where I went wrong. But from whom, besides you? You know better than to ask me that. Where is the danger coming from? If it's not... Is it... Is it from whomever broke into Cal's place and went through youth? You think that that person is here, don't you? You have a very vivid imagination, Lily. And impeccable instincts from time to time. You tell me yours. I'll tell you mine. What are you hiding, Simon? Thanks for no thanks. Come on, Lily. Let's go. Oh, no. No. Oh. Now, hands off the goods, buddy! I ducked in here to get away from you, hassling me, pestering me. Now leave me alone. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get rid of you. That's what I'm trying to do. And if you are smart, you back off and find somebody who can't. You're messing with the wrong chick. Be it. You're coming with me. You think so, huh? You're a betting man. Nice dude. Really suits you. This guy bothering you? Like a blister. Rehearsal's off limits, bud. Uh, uh, look, right this way. You don't understand, all right? Sure I do. So, that whiny, screechy voice was supposed to be me, huh? Stunk worse than yesterday's leftover seafood surprise. It did the job, didn't it? Remember something? As a matter of fact, I did. I remembered that you've been through some hard times. Oh, you remember? Yeah. I don't recall all the details, but I do know that you're pretty much alone in this world. You know something? How can I be alone when I got a friend like you? No, I'm serious, Jake. Really. I mean, if there's something that you want to talk about, I am ready to listen. Well, actually, it's something, but I, I just didn't know if I should... No, 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 no. Go ahead. I can take it. Go. Oh, I was wondering. 
Yeah. I was wondering if I should roll over my IRA because you know this this market's just getting wacky. You are asking me for financial advice? Well, you just said I could ask you about anything. Yeah, yeah, of course. I just well, I I assumed that you wanted to talk about that girl, Katie. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to upset you. Why would it upset me? What what does she have to do with well, me? It's a long story, a lot of stuff you blocked out. Exactly. Well, then def you should definitely tell me. You should jog my memory. I'm definitely not. Dr. Stewart said if I, if I force you to remember something you weren't ready for, you'd get a setback. Tell me what you know about this tramp Peretti now. Okay. This amnesia thing. It's an act, isn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I am onto you. I am on to you. Don't do this to me. Now, listen, you admit that you're faking this amnesia thing, and I'll tell you everything that you want to know. Okay, hold on there a second. This way. Uh. Just in time. Hungry? No. No. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, ma'am. This, this cart's only authorized to carry food. Ah, uh, well, huh. here. This should, uh, take care of the extra freight. I hope you're not paying by the pound. And this is to keep quiet about it. Yes, ma'am. Gladly, ma'am. Good thing I'm limber. <laughs> I should be working in the carny, folding my body up like this. You better be careful, handsome, going down that hallway. You got precious cargo down here. See you after my show? Yes. And then you'll show me the necklace. Maybe I'll have a clue to what Simon's been after. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this. Are you kidding? With a face like that, who could resist? Not to remember. Shut up and close the door. Somebody can hear you. What are you talking about? I'm going to reveal your national secrets to the world anyway, unless you decide to come clean. What's it going to be? All right. I'll tell you everything. Start from the beginning. When did you decide to have amnesia? Practically from the minute I remember waking up out of a coma. Why? Well, mainly for Abigail, like I told you. Mainly Abigail. What's the other reason? Money. Money. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm sure that the apartment complex is worth six figures, so with the amnesia... I could take home a million easy. <laughs> nice try. Okay, 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 it's you, all right? You and your big, fat, obnoxious mouth nagging at me and needling me the whole time I was comatose. What are you talking about? It worked, didn't it? So it figures that when I wake up, all I can remember is, is you carrying on about Katie Pretty stealing my life and <sighs> screaming at me to wake up and get back at her. Screaming? I... Cajoled. So when I do wake up completely, all I can think of doing is scratching out her eyes and feeding them to her for breakfast. Well, for a lot of reasons. I mean, <laughs> the pictures, and not to mention they tried to poison me. How? With Ipecac syrup, right before I was to do a broadcast. So that's when she took over for you in the air. Bingo. But I caught him. I caught him. I got those two patting each other on the back on tape. So you got the, you got the tape, you got the evidence. They stole it. But I'm thinking that maybe it's still around somewhere. All right, why well, amnesia? Because. Because I got, like, two friends, and Katie Peretti is, like, Miss Oakdale 2000, and, and since she pretty much has the market cornered on Innocent Victim, I figure I'll play the fragile amnesiac. Also, I guess so you can go after her without looking like the bully. Or, like, a um, full of a bunch of sour grapes. So, so how, how are you going to find this evidence? It's funny you should ask me that. Huh? Oh, no, no, it's not funny that I should ask you that. As a matter of fact, I've already done my part. But, uh, Jake, you know, I was all set to do this love before you butted <laughs> so why don't you just go for it? Because you already know about it, so you might as well help me. Help you, help you. I'm the, the only reason you're living and breathing right now. Exactly, and you can't desert me now. Look, you think you're some big hero. Prove it. 